Hey guys, what's up? JRPG Bro here, playing more Ghost of Tsushima. Working on more of Norio's storyline here. Resolve is growing, but they still fear the Mongols, as they should. Where is everyone? At the river, bathing, washing clothes. Who's that coming to the temple? Look, a Mongol who wants to die. He's alone. See what he wants first. The ghost and the brother of the guardian. I have a message for you. Speak. The ghost and the monks have defied the Khan's will. Surrender, and we spare this place. Refuse, and all will burn. We will never surrender. Then you will die. Wonderful. So it looks like we're gonna get like a, a I don't want to call it a Mongol invasion per se. The monks by the river. But it looks like we're gonna have shelter. Mongols just coming in at us like shelter. hardcore. Oh, I can't. The Buddha, the Abbot Sutra. Are they worth more than the monks' lives? I can't save them alone. Centuries of learning reside in this temple. I can't let it burn. But you'll let the monks burn. I will die for this temple. Do what you have to. Then stay here. I'll find the monks at the river and bring them back. That's a bit of an interesting character development there for uh, Norio, where he he's kind of having this confliction here of what's more important to protect the monks or the actual like items within the temple itself, which would be the the Buddha statue and the Karma Sutra, the Sutra itself. Let's call it the Kama Sutra for some reason, but which is more important? And, and right now he it seems like he thinks that the physical you know, material possessions within the uh, temple are the more important to really focus on. Which is kind of sad that that's his thought process, but I mean, who knows, maybe he'll come around here. But right now, we kind of have to speak with the monks down here uh, and see if we Mongols can, coming. you know, get, away from the get river. them to safety because the, the Mongols are coming. Uh, I mean, if that's all we have to do, they save these half-naked dudes. Uh, awesome. I'd rather do it like that than have to actually worry about, you know, protecting them literally physically from the Mongols. Which is what it looks like I have to do anyway. But at least on the plus side, the Mongols aren't actively attacking uh, the 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 monks so we don't have to worry about specifically running after and protecting specific monks so that is actually a big plus right now i think in my opinion here as we kind of start wiping out all these uh mongols i don't know how long of a side mission this is or i don't even know how long uh how many more of norio's storyline missions we have here because i think we should be at like seven or eight here, which would leave only two left for the next section uh, of the map. But I, I don't really know. And look who showed up. Look who decided to come. Oh, he went flying. Uh, look who come and decided to join our party there. Looks like maybe Norio had a change of heart. Maybe he had a realization. Who knows? Obviously, as we'll, we'll find out in the cut sequence here. But. Some of the physics in this game are a little ridiculous. When enemies go flying uh, from a random swing or an animal attack. It, it is, I won't lie, it is definitely a funny feature here. I don't know if it's like intentional or not on their part. Oh, I missed that by a lot mile there. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Nice little parry dodge. Norio, what are you doing? The temple's undefended. Temples can be rebuilt. Lives can't. We'll defend the monks at the pagoda. Lead the way. All of you, come with us.
And now we kind of have to move into the actual temple itself to protect things. They hear that bombastic, epic music uh, going on in the background there. Just everything just culminating in this massive encounter here. And it's pretty uh, pretty badass when you mix in, you know... Oh, look at that! Oh, shoot! What did I do? Uh, in case you guys were wondering, I have no idea what I did. Uh, I pressed a button, button combination, and I did a thing. I did the thing, and it was baller. Uh, I think that might be one of those, like, mythic things you get later in the game. I don't know. I like it, and I want to use it again, but I don't remember what button I pressed. Or buttons. Uh, that makes me sound a little stupid, because I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, spamming, like, a, a button input like this is a fighting game. There's more and more of these Mongols come rolling right in here. Let's see. They are... There's so many of them. It's kind of insane. It really is ridiculous how many of these guys are... Oh! Block that one. I messed up. I can't... I, at least I didn't take away my resolve for doing that. I wonder if missing will take away resolve. I, that I can't say with any kind of certainty, though. How many more of these guys do we have? I really don't know. There's a lot of them. Though. This is like the violent, like, uh... <laughs> this is a section of this video. It's all violent. It's all gore. Hodge kids. Let me see this. Uh, oh god, this guy. Oh, we dodged that. I still. I. Oh god. Damn it. I still am actually a little bit bitter. Uh, not bitter. More frustrated that we don't have a lock on here in this game. Uh, I understand why, but you know, that guy just shot his own dude. Uh, I, I. I do wish they added a lock on feature in like New Game Plus, or at least have it be optional. Like I said, I get the reasoning behind why they don't have one, and I respect that. But the monks I don't like forget it. what you did for them. I didn't fight alone, Norio. No, but if I had not listened to you, many more would be dead. What will you do now? It's time I return to see the temple. We still need your Naginata to drive the invaders from our home. You'll have it. And my temple will be a strong ally to you in the north. I'll join you there. Let's check the temple grounds. The Buddha. My brother earned the name Guardian when he saved this temple. I wish we could have saved the statue. The statue's final lesson. Save what we can, but know that everything passes away. It's a worse statue when it's broken, but a better teacher. And that should wrap up our Norio side quest for a little bit here. I don't think we're going to have any until we get to that third section of the island here, which is fine. Uh, we do still have some of Masako Adachi's side quests to do. And I actually think we are done with uh, Sensei Ishikawa's storyline as well for the foreseeable future. So we kind of have to start uh, working towards uh, wrapping up uh, Adachi's story before we can really get into the nitty-gritty uh, section of the game, which is the actual main story of the second island. So, like I said, I'm very OCD with how I play these type of games. By doing as much of the side quests as possible before really jumping into the main storyline, uh, that's how I roll. Uh, I, I want to make sure I get... It, 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 the, my ultimate strategy with an open world game like this is 
we're playing this game. It's a, it's expansive. It's big. It's not as big as some other titles though, which is great in my honest opinion. But I want to with these games when I finish the storyline because they're so expansive, they're so long. I kind of get bored. So if I miss things uh, after I play it, so for example, like say uh, this was our first time playing and we didn't get all the fox decks, and when I beat the game, I might not want to go back around and do free roam. I know free roam exists in most of these games. Once we wrap up the main storyline, I know that that is a thing that we have. It's an option, but I'm not going to want to do that after I spend, say, 50 hours on the actual game already. Because that's just how I roll. Uh, this game might be one of those rare exceptions in a game like The Witcher 3 or Spider-Man. are rare exceptions, but I don't... Usually when I'm done with a game... Uh, if I'm usually I'm personally satisfied with it. Uh, I don't want to just jump right back in and uh, even if a game has new game plus uh, Very rarely do I jump right back in and very rarely do I even take advantage of new game plus those are usually kind of reserved in my opinion for uh, Persona games where uh, I, I, I just love them so much that I go in and I play them over and over again Junshin, what was that about? Lady Masako is looking for someone she is angry I couldn't help. Like you helped with Kajiwara the fisherman? Did you ever find him? Yes, after he killed his wife and daughter. How could I be so foolish? My friend can be harsh, but she speaks the truth. This time, I truly do not know who she's after. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can rebuild. These people are lucky to have you. Be well. So right now we have to find uh, Masako, and she's not very far away. And like we said, Masako's storyline, out of all the main characters, I don't know if I like hers the least, or I find her annoying the most. I don't know. Someone on the list, a thief. I'll help you find them. I need to handle it myself. The farmer said they left with armed men. Mercenaries. Professional killers. They could complicate things. I can use your help, but I need your discretion. You can count on it. The farmer said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. It's this way. Come. Who is this thief? She looted Clan Adachi's estate after the attack. Stole valuable heirlooms, personal items. What makes it worse is that Mai was our former servant. Three years ago, my husband caught her stealing. He wanted to have her flogged. I did what I could for her, but she had to go. It almost sounds like you miss her. She was a dear friend. Her betrayal stings more than the others. There she is. With the mercenaries. Let's move in. Quietly.
I'm so right now here we gotta kind of stealth up on these guys. This is the thief that she's talking about. He'll sell those heirlooms himself. Now take us to them. I'll pay you to leave them with me. You have no money. I have this comb. It's gold with pearl in it. That was a gift. It might fetch a fair price. No, we'd have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the heirlooms. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning. Just her. The more of them we eliminate, the easier it'll be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen where they might hurt her. So right now we really have to be really super stealthy here. There is only a couple of these enemies, so we kind of have to... Uh, it's this is like it's one of those Assassin's Creed like missions where we really kind of have to trail uh, our people here, but we have to be careful. We can't be seen. Uh, we can't really do anything crazy per se. Uh, we need to be careful, and that's not really in my um, resume under you know list of skills. Careful gamer. Uh, I am a little too aggressive. Uh, which might also blow up in my face, so to speak, here. So right now, like I said, we're kind of focusing right now on uh, kind of having to thin out the pack here. So it looks like the ultimate goal here is is that the game's programming here is going to show off that these guys are going to kind of, um, you know, break from the pack for some random reason. That's our time to strike. So we got to whittle down our enemies, which is really frustrating for me personally because I'd rather take them all out. In like one fell swoop. We're actually too close. Oh shit. I was worried there. I thought my sword swing there uh, would have given him away. And let's see. Chain assassination should do it, right? What? We have to be careful of the target too. We have to be careful of uh, the thief lady. That's bull. Alright. Uh, so we have a new stipulation here. Alright. That's fine. Uh, frustrating as it is, we have to play by the rules but we can't really <laughs> circumvent those rules as much as we wish we could circumvent the, the the rules in the game but uh it is what it is right that's the saying that we have going around uh so essentially what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to pick them off one by one in a similar uh style here which is as annoying as it sounds is something we do have to do uh so right now we're just gonna kind of follow the same basic pattern that we did last time uh with that first guy's kind of kind of gonna stop and look like he's gonna tie a shoe uh, he's not really tying his shoe in case you're wondering. They don't really wear shoes with, uh, shoelaces. That's like a 20th century thing. Uh, so we took out one guy, so I think we have, what, three left? So the chain assassination, in theory, would have worked. Uh, because of the fact that we took out all three. But if we didn't have to, if we had to be careful, uh, with alerting, uh, Mai is her name, as we see in the subtitles here. Uh, if we didn't have to worry about alerting Mai, you know, we would have been fine. We gotta be really careful here. Now I wonder if we can do these two guys and be fine. All right, so that actually worked. The game hasn't yelled at us yet, which is fantastic. I was worried the game would yell at us. I'm gonna lose track of our target. So okay, there's no lock on. Uh, if we had a lock on, we, <laughs> we would probably be okay. Uh, having a lock on would also probably make this game a lot easier in my opinion uh as a whole but i think right now we can't kill this last guy we kind of have to tail him and follow him uh for the foreseeable future right now which is just really annoying as a whole but i think we're gonna have to wait and see what comes of this so let me see here focusing a lot on stealthing this up i don't want to lose track of them uh i love how the the grass look at that that is just beautiful <laughs> Uh, it's hard to say anything bad about this game. The game is absolutely, you know, breathtaking, visually speaking. I, I, I'm curious. Oh shit, there's more of them. Okay, I got worried for a second. And now we activate Ghost Killer. Ghost Face Killer here. Um, I like it, it's one hit kill. I like the Sin City filter here. 
but I don't like the timing on it. Like, you have a certain amount of time uh, to do it. You might have, like, three or four, like, kills that you can do. Uh, it is it's it is hard to, to get it. And I know there's a certain, uh, a tr once again, also in case you're a trophy hunter, uh, like myself, there is a certain amount of uh, enemies you have to kill with that in order to unlock a trophy. Jin, I need to speak with Mai. I'm here if you need me. You stole my family's heirlooms for those murderers. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. Turned me away. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. Then you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi. And you were a thief. I still love you. Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. I'll take you to your family's things. We know the man you work for is a samurai. I don't know his name. Never saw his face. He communicated only through notes. He knew about us, my lady. How? I don't know. He said he knew what it was like to love you. That he understood my pain. Masako. My was not only. That has been the only... He was anxious about the heirlooms. Concerned they get broken. He's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. Spoke as if they were his. The heirlooms belong to no one but my family. I am the only one who remains. Your heirlooms are in the brush. Jin, will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. Thank you. Where's my? She's so I'm gonna coming. head back to Adachi. Jin, I want you to know, I'm not. You don't owe me an explanation. I cared for my husband, but I cared for my too. You still do. I think I always will. The man we hunt has feelings for you. Other than my husband and my, I've had no romances, no admirers. He could have been lying, feigning sympathy to gather recruits. I just don't know who would do that. We'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. My work in Toyotama isn't finished. Meet me when you can. And then it'll be it for us, so make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with more Ghost of Tsushima.